fight over federal unemployment benefits is heating up. A group of Hoosiers has filed a lawsuit against Governor Holcomb. These extra benefits, like the added $300 to unemployment checks, they are set to expire this Saturday here in Indiana, even though the U.S. government gave states the option to keep them going through September 6th. And some Hoosiers say the governor doesn't have the right to end those benefits early. So we are starting our big story tonight with a look at what this lawsuit means and the people behind it who say they're falling through the cracks. Amanda Vasham has been out of work since her job unexpectedly closed down last year. We did not know. We walked in one day and uh, there actually the doors were shut and locked. Since she's been on unemployment, that will all come to an end this week. It's all gone. The 149 and the 300. It's all gone. Nothing. I will receive nothing. They live on one income and she stayed on unemployment with the hopes of lasting until her five-year-old goes back to school. I mean, we, everyone prepared for September. We, we were told by the president of the United States that September, September. So we have, we have budgeted to save money so that, you know, when, when it's time to, to go back, we're ready to do that. But now she's not so sure. It's stressful. I don't know. Try to find a daycare in somebody's house that's cheap and, and hope that they don't hurt your kids. So she's hopeful about a lawsuit filed against the state to keep the governor from pulling out of federal unemployment benefits. Because the question is not, is there a job? The question is, how much is that job paying? And is it going to be a full-time job? Pastor David Green heads the Concerned Clergy of Indianapolis. They're named in the suit that claims the state is required to secure federal benefits for its citizens. It's really about protecting poor people. Like Vasham, there are more than 150,000 Hoosiers that stand to lose benefits. It doesn't just affect me. It affects my a whole huge group of people. The governor says these added benefits aren't needed anymore because our state has 116,000 open job positions. But the new lawsuit cites a study from the Century Foundation that found cutting benefits could actually impact more than 286,000 Hoosiers when it's all said and done. Now, let's take a second to break down exactly what's changing come Saturday. Not only does the extra $300 added to unemployment checks disappear, so does the program extending benefits past 26 weeks. Assistance for independent contractors, the self-employed, and gig workers also goes away. And it's not just happening here. So far, at least 25 states have announced plans to end these federal benefits early. And don't forget, Indiana also reinstated a requirement for unemployed Hoosiers this month. As of June 1st, you have to send in a weekly work search report proving you're doing things like attending job fairs or applying for positions to find full-time work. We have a comprehensive list breaking down all the changes on the way and this latest lawsuit. All you have to do is open up the WTHR app. And that wraps up tonight's big story.